I don't have any hot spots here, but today's subject matter is hot spots for your dog. Hot spots are a really common problem in dogs, especially in the summertime. So there's a couple of things that cause them. Number one, the dog has allergies almost always. And this is a manifestation of that. They become itchy just like you do with allergies and then they can pick a spot and they really work on it until it becomes a hot spot. Unlike humans, dogs will mutilate themselves. They will chew themselves until they are completely raw and bleeding and a hot spot is exactly that. The way we prevent these kind of things would be that uh, once we notice that our dog is having uh, an allergic reaction to environmental pollens and things, we need to take note of what time of year that is because when it comes back around next year, I recommend getting ahead of it by three or four weeks and starting a really good antihistamine. Talk to your vet. Benadryl is old school, and we have some really nice um, antihistamines now for dogs, Apoquel and Cytopoint, that work fantastic for them. And in really severe situations, we need to go have an allergy test so that we can see exactly what they're allergic to. And just like people, dogs and cats for that matter, um, can receive allergy shots to help improve their symptoms and sometimes even alleviate them. Another really common cause would be if you have a double coated breed and uh, if you've watched some of our breed of the weeds like with the husky and etc they blow their coat every year and if we don't get rid of that hair let's say maybe they got wet uh, we had a little rain or something like that they're holding all of that moisture in and um, it can get irritated and cause what a hot spot is actually medically called a moist dermatitis. So it's very preventable. You know, your double coated breeds definitely keep that hair pulled out. So you need antibiotic treatment, you need some topical sprays, and you need to shave up that area so that you can get air in there so it can heal. It's gonna sound a little bit strange, but I've used this in the past year and it's kind of cool. I'm gonna show you this product. Uh, there'll be a link down below if you wanna order some. It's actually made for horses but it works great on these type of wounds for drying it up. Remember, it's a moist dermatitis, and we wanna look for something that's gonna help um, deal with an infection if that is occurring, and dry it up so that now the skin can uh, regranulate back in, it can heal up and the hair will grow back. FYI, if you have a poodle, <laughs> I grew up with poodles. If you have a poodle, the hair that's gonna grow back, or a doodle, maybe, may look different when it grows back. They can actually scar. It can grow back a different color, a different texture kind of a strange weird thing so just heads up on that one don't let it shock or surprise you all right thanks for watching i hope this helps tip helps you and uh we'll see you for the next one hey everybody i hope you really will become a patron come on join us if you're loving our videos and loving our work our mission is to have happy people and happy dogs and we can't do it without you patreon click below join us help us won't you join our pack join our pack